Well, well, well Preci, it wasn't easy out there, but we've got through the end of the 2 1 win against Hyde Town. What do you make of that? Tough game. I thought uh, Hyde were excellent, pushed us all the way. Um, first half hour was a bit cagey, but I thought they had the best of it and they got, you know, they got their noses in front and then. It's going, to, it's going to test your character and your belief um, and your togetherness because, look, the, the pitch was difficult, you know, no one's going to say any different, you know, it's tough and it's not, you know, it's just the circumstances, weather and everything, you know, but it, it, was, it was a difficult service to, de uh, to deal with. So you, you had to play in a certain way and both teams knew that, um, but I thought both teams did really well on, on a tough surface and it, I think it took us a while, it took us a while to get going, probably with them scoring, probably. Not woke us up because we were, we, you know, we were trying everything, but we we weren't really creating or putting them under uh, that much pressure. But I think the ten minutes before half time was uh, was our best period of the game. We just looked like we were getting on top, and to score that goal right on half times, uh, you know, I think that was the, the pivotal moment. Gives us the, the belief going in at half time. Probably knocks a little bit of belief out of them, um, and then second half I thought. Although you know we were under pressure with uh, balls in the box, I thought you know we just looked in open play. We just looked like we could create, and um, yeah, just really pleased with the reaction. And, and then second half, we, we saw it out quite well at the end, you know, and, and that's not an easy thing to do. Um, so yeah, credit to credit to the lads, credit to to the way we prepared. We prepared really well uh, this week. We've, um, coming down here is, is before, you know, a seven hour journey, it's tough. You know, to be fair, we had every excuse in the book um, ready, uh, you know, if we got beat. And we um, and I said to the lads before, there is no excuses. There will be no excuses at the end of this game uh, if we get knocked out. The surface, you know, uh, the trip, whatever, you know, at the end of the day, Although they've been doing really, really well, we, you know we should be coming in and, and getting through. Not, not going to be easy, but we should be coming here and getting through. So, you know, we've done it, and it was difficult, and we knew it'd be really tough. And you know, either pushed us all the way. And if we had shown any slight weaknesses, you know, we, we wouldn't be in the act of it, uh, uh, for the last 16. I think you mentioned there the pivotal moment probably was Jack getting the goal before half time, but how pleased were you with not only the reaction in the second half, but obviously Sample gets the goal, puts us in front, and then the way we managed the game, again, tricky conditions, it really did get tough towards the back end, but how we managed it, was that especially pleasing? Yeah, it was, because you can get a bit panicky and start booting the ball forward even more so, you know, when you know what we had to do is when we got a chance was to try and pass and move the ball and and keep the ball even even if it's for three or four passes you know it just gets you up the pitch um, and we can put a little bit of pressure on in the final third and that's what I was pleased with after we scored we, we did that probably half a dozen times where we where we made three or four passes just slowed everything down and controlled the tempo of the game and um, yeah you know credit to the lads because you've got to be brave you've got to be brave to pass the ball on there and then obviously looking forward now towards Tuesday. A big game again at home. We've got the rearranged game against Gloucester City. There'll probably be a, a few tired legs after playing on that surface and in the long journey home. What's, what's the plan for that one? Well, it's just, it's, you know, it's trying to recover and the best we can to be ready for that. And like you say, we'll have taken a lot out of the, out of the players' legs. They've, they've worked extremely hard. They've had to do that because there was no let up from high, you know. Um, but, you know, yeah, I'm pleased one for Sampo to get get the winner, and also he got the assist on the goal. Um, and pleased Shents, you know, Shents has come back in after after a while out. You know, not you look at the you look at the the pitch and everything about the game today, and you say, oh, it's probably not a Shents game. But I thought he was a one who just put his foot on the, on the ball. He was a one who you know who just arrived on things in the first half and and, and give us a little bit of momentum. So, you know, pleased for him and the way way he's come in and done that. Um, you know. And, Look, that, that's it. We got to use. We got to use the whole squad, you know, and, and that's a pleasing thing. Whoever I call on, you know, uh, produces a performance, and it's great to bounce back from the Alfreton game because, you know, we were, you know, we never got a kick in the Alfreton game, you know, and that can affect your confidence. And then you come on a surface like this, and and you don't, you know, you, you've got those doubts again. But um, fair play, the lads have, have learned from that, um, and that's all you can do from defeat. Well, a little look through. Um with the results from today, I don't know if you've managed to have the chance just yet, but quite a few shocks in there. Um, your thoughts, this is the draw likely on Monday, it would be nice to get a nice home time and a long trip away again. 
Yeah, look, we're in the last 16. It's, it's, a, it's a great place to be. Uh, I think quite a few teams have gone out. I think once they get, you get to the last 16, last qu <laughs> quarterfinals, I think teams start to take it a bit more serious. Um, so you will get those shocks, but I think from now on, I don't think teams will, will be playing weekly teams or experimenting or giving players time. Or um, So, yeah, look, we'll see. You know, we're doing great. We're, we're in, in the last 16. Let's see who we get, and then, and then we'll deal, deal with it from there. You know, the thing about me now is to try and keep this momentum going and hopefully get the game on Tuesday and get that, get those fans behind us. And I've got to make a mention of the fans, you know, to come down here. Look, it's hard enough for us travelling on the coach for them to come down here in the numbers. I don't know how many there was, but there must have been close to 50. Um, credit to them. You know, it's seven, seven hours for us. Um, so thank you to them. You know, it did make a difference and they were noisy today as well, you know, and uh, we could hear them uh, getting behind the lads. And we need that again at home on Tuesday. You know, if we can get some of those 1900 through the gate again, that'll make a big, big difference to us. Yeah.